This is Total Telecom TV. I'm Brian Dolby and I'm talking to David Wong, who is the president of Huawei Wireless. David, we're here at the Huawei Mobile Broadband event in London. Um, my first question to you is, what are some of the biggest challenges facing mobile operators today? Yes, well, it's, uh, nowadays uh, our mobile operators actually they are facing quite a big challenge. It's a millions, millions of applications which is generated based on the iOS and Android. Uh, this kind of uh, is a uh, uh, OS uh, for smartphone platform. So it's a generate so much requirement. Uh, so it's um, for the operator if they want to provide this uh, good user experience, they have to keep expanding their network. They have to. Uh, by the, uh, the more and more uh, spectrum uh, from a regulator. Also, at the same time, they have to build more and more sites to provide the, uh, this, um, enough the capacity to the, to the end user. So all of this, this needs heavy investment. But on the other hand, is due to that is in the past, the mobile operator, their business model mainly uh, is uh, based on the, the voice and SMS and, and data service. But now it's, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, quite innovative uh, OTT uh, the application. Actually, they eat uh, the cake of the from operator uh, and step by step. So this gives the quite a big pressure. So the mobile operator has 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 to change their business model. They use uh, their so-called is bonding and uh, the package. Uh, but it's um, even use all of this. There's um, uh, not uh, we cannot expect this uh, the mobile operator their revenue can double or triple. So, uh, so this we can see that clearly this is unbalanced between the, the more investment, more cost, and then uh, on the other hand, is the revenue incremental is uh, not so much, not dramatically. Uh, so, I think this is quite the big challenge. Uh, this is the biggest challenge what the operators are facing. And how can uh, Huawei help them through that process? Yeah, as the you know, it's a solution provider. We are also we are always it's a think about. Uh, it's uh, this kind of a challenge, and also we are trying whatever uh, is an uh, effort we can do to help operator. So basically, we can see that there we are working on from two different directions. Uh, on the one hand, is uh, we are uh, using a lot of uh, innovative uh, tech uh, the solution or technology sh uh, to help operator to build this. Um, uh, really, is um, uh, the best user experience and also lower cost is uh, uh, is a uh, network. It's a thanks for our single run technology. Actually, we can help the operator, you know, to use the one base station to support all the different technology. Also, there are also we are working very hard to make our base station to support a wider and wider spectrum, which is can uh, let the, uh, the operator to build the, the mobile network with a uh, with a, with a low cost. On the other hand, we are. Um, also, uh, developing a lot of new technology like the small cell. Also, there's a convergence between the Wi-Fi and the and IoT Wi-Fi and the, and the UMTS. Using all of this um, measurement, we try to, you know, help operator to build this uh, wider and wider uh, the mobile broadband network, and with a certain number of the budget. Uh, on the other hand, also that is we think that the mobile operator there should, uh, you know, try we should work together with the operator to find more revenue resource. And then, as you, as we all know, that is IoT. They have the this a great technology, and then IoT is um, they have the very uh, is a clear advantage uh, to provide a video a video service compared to two G and three G. Actually, this uh, this could also generate a lot of uh, this uh, uh, new application or new value to end users uh, as a consumer or maybe also as a enterprise. Uh, just ex example, like the IoT, uh, you know, IoT video service on the very EMMS, or maybe it's IoT trunking. All of this, you know, is uh, uh, you know based on IoT that it can provide a very different user experience, and also this uh, in the, the mobile operator can also expand it, expand their target target customer or target area. So this kind of solution can help operator can get more revenue. So. And that means that on the one hand, we try to help the operator to build a better network with a certain number of budget. On the other hand, it's a so help the operator to uh, find a more revenue source. And, and within that, what, or, or what is soft mobile? Tell us a bit about, about that. So, you know, soft mobile actually is a part of our solution, uh, soft, soft com. Uh, as what is uh, Eric, Eric is our SVP, so who opened the speech for this uh, mobile broadband forum in the morning. Uh, he made it very clear uh, about uh, our strategy in the coming years. 
Uh, so soft mobile this is basically there are three point. Uh, or oh yeah, another word is the three benefit we can bring to the uh, to the op operator. Uh, it's a uh, you know first one uh, you know is uh, using uh, this um, uh, soft mobile we can uh, we can help the operator to build uh, its um, much more uh, let's say reliable network and then uh, you know with uh, to support an ultra bourbon it's the one on the other hand um, the second point let's say the soft mobile uh, as a technology we can help the operator to reduce the cost. Or maybe that is to build uh, in a uh, year. In other words, is let's say it can uh, build uh, a wider or better mobile network with a certain number of the budget. And the third point I can say that is um, using this kind of a new architecture. Uh, let's say we can help the operator to reduce the time to market. Let's say to help the operator to uh, you know uh, generate uh, more revenue. So that's uh, what the soft mobile can bring to the uh, mobile operator. Well, I'm sure that's good news for operators right across the world. Uh, and thanks for joining us. Thank you.